Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we're gonna have a look at something that will be launched in a month, and that is this new CM Storm mouse, and this is the CM Storm Sentinel Zero G mouse. And this is the all new Sentinel Zero G mouse from CM Storm. And what you probably see is the old Sentinel mouse, but what they've done is added the Shadow Horizon uh, logo here, and they added some software with some cool features and also a free game inside the box and the free game is of course Shadow Horizon. Okay, let's first have a quick look at this mouse. This mouse obviously has left and right mouse button and a scroll wheel which also has a click function and then we have the uh, button for changing profiles which I'll talk about later so you can change between different profiles and you also have these two buttons and these are to change the DPI settings and you have these two buttons which is for going forward and backwards and as you probably saw by now on the top of the mouse you have an LED and the same goes for the front where they add two more LEDs and you can actually change the color of those LEDs and how to do that I'll show you a bit later in the review when I'm showing you the software that they include so on the bottom of the mouse they add one, two, three, four, five skates and they add extra ones for when these are used up they also add this 5600 dpi sensor and a pretty cool feature is this weight system and they have a total of five four and a half gram weights adding up to a total of 22 and a half grams moving on with the cable it is sleeved which is really nice and you have a gold plated usb connection now for those of you who know the Sentinel Advance mouse from CM Storm there are a bunch of differences between that mouse and this one and this one is actually better according to the specifications that I have here and there are a few differences like you have the game bundle uh, which is really obvious an optimized laser for the sensor which is actually some kind of twin uh, laser that ensures extreme stability and some precise tracking performance you also have more memory you have a total of 128 kilobytes of Sentinel X onboard memory there's also the rapid fire tactical mode, those new feet, so those skates I was talking about on the bottom of the mouse, and some more features in the software. And of course there are a few other specifications, like the one I said earlier, the 5600 dpi twin laser sensor, um, 1000 hertz spalling rate, and a 1 millisecond response time. You have a max speed of 235 inches per second, a maximum acceleration of 50 g's, and a 1mm lift off distance and what they actually added in the software mainly is that you can now combine buttons so you have a total of 36 extra and I could say virtual buttons and that's really useful in games like Shattered Horizon where you have to do all kind of different movements and you can set those combinations to do all those different movements and oh yeah before I go over to the uh, software now I should show you this actually when you change DPI you see that storm logo there yeah well in the software you can change that logo to your personalized logo so let's say for example if you have a clan logo you can change that to the logo of your clan okay so this is the main control for the software with the Sentinel Zero G you can assign different tasks to each button um, just by selecting the task here and then pressing apply so we can do that for each uh, button and you can do that of course for each profile which I talked to uh, when that so showed you that button so I have the, my own profile here Charlotte and you can actually make that by creating a new profile or editing a new profile and you can also upload a profile image here uh, which will be displayed on that uh, little screen on the mouse uh, and you can also do some profile management here uh, what else? So you can also change DPI level here. So you have the four D DPI levels that they offer you. You can go to max of 5,600 DPI. So that's 5,600, which would be if I press apply, just a second. This but yeah you don't really notice the difference only I do now um, what else we have motion sensitivity double click speed uh, button response time and here you can test the double click speed and oh yeah before I forget you can actually change different 
uh, axis of uh, your DPI level. So if I have an X and Y axis here, uh, I can change this to let's say 2,000. What is this? 2,325. All right. If I press apply and go to this setting, that's a bit messed up. I can't go to left or right that easy, but up and down is easy now. Uh, yeah. So you have that option if you really want to. Then, um, color control. Here you can change uh, different colors, so it's disabled, disabled now, but let's put it on full color. And as you can see, I have assigned here red and here green. I don't know exactly why, but alright, that's what I did. But I can also do, of course, red and red, or green and green, or blue and blue. And then, of course, I have to, have to press apply. And then I have that color on the mouse, so you can choose between red, green, blue yellow, purple, light blue, white, and disabled. Then you can also choose between uh, full color, breathing, rapid fire, and uh, full color actually just, yeah, chose a color, and breathing gives this kind of breathing effect, and rapid fire actually offers you, when you press each, uh, just any button on your mouse, uh, yeah, if you press any button, the LED on the front will uh, flash like for a small second. Then Storm Tactics, here you can change a few options uh, for, yeah, say the button 1 and button 2 is button 2. If I press these, what, if I press button 1 and button 2 now, I will have in game an execution like Rapid Fire. Uh, yeah, and I can actually change a lot of things here just for in-game. Then macro, uh, you can assign different macros here, so you can make a new macro, start recording, uh, I can do that in this area here. Also with the keyboard, and I can stop recording, and you can change all the settings, you can also move up and down some uh, different uh, assignments that you did here. I can of course save that macro. And then you have script, which is a little bit more advanced than macro, so it's actually the same as macro but just more advanced. And if you're into programming, you'll probably prefer this. And then you have the library where you can choose your macros and scripts and assign them to the different profiles. And then you have support or an update page if you need an update for your software. I have the feeling that I should talk a bit more about those profiles uh, before I forget that though, because actually that's a pretty cool option and feature that they give with this mouse. So the standard profile that they give you here is the CM Storm profile and the Shattered Horizon profile. Now what this actually is is that if you change settings like the DPI settings or double click speed and etc etc or uh, the Storm Tactics or Macro or Script or yeah whatever if you change anything there and you save that it will be saved on that profile, so not on the other profile. On that other profile, though, you can do other th things. So on the other profile, you can do other things like changing other options and actually applying each profile. For example, for another game. So if you call, if you're playing Shadow Horizon, you can use the Shadow Horizon profile here, which is actually pretty nicely set up. Um, then you can have your own one, which is here, Charloid. Uh, if you want, you can also do Team Fortress 2 or Battlefield Company 2 or whatever, or Call of Duty, whatever. You can make for each game your own profile. And that is a pretty neat uh, feature that they offer here. So, in a conclusion, I can say a few things about this mouse. It has a nice design, it has lots of useful and innovative features. Price quality wise, I really recommend this also because of the game that they include, Shadow Horizon. It's really a fun game, I've played it myself for hours and hours and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Um, then there is a weight system which is really useful so you can personalize this mouse a lot also because of the colors and the DPI settings and macros and all that. So personalization is really a plus here. And you also have a sleeved cable which is also a nice detail. Then a few negative points would be the build quality because uh, well, the build quality is okay, it's really good actually, but the paint on top here went off a little, and that's only after using it for three or four weeks. Um, then it's only made for right-handed people, and it's also a bit unfortunate that you cannot change the uh, uh, Shared Horizon logo on top here to something else. But anyway, I'd have to say that this is an awesome mouse. 
For a complete list of pros and cons, you just need to press the link to our website in the description box. You can leave your questions here on YouTube or on our forums. And I would like to thank uh, Cooler Monster for sponsoring us with this mouse, and I'll see you all in the next video.